Well, basically we just run a hobby farm that kind of fits our lifestyle. I just actually recently retired from a teaching career, so now I'm able to help a little bit more. We have white-faced polled Herefords that we raise for beef, 15 chickens running amok all over my gardens. As far as our cattle, we've had repeat customers for about eight, 10 years now. Two years ago, Ken opened up the sawmill. What we got here is a 1930 mill, and we went this way because they're so cheap and simple to run. They're breaking down a raw log into rough lumber, not finished lumber. Everything's geared for big volume, so I was trying to see where the little guy could fit in. Trying to get people, they want just that unique look. If you're building a winery or a brewery or something, they want the old fashioned boards and the beams. Raised beds, people don't want to use treated lumber around their vegetables, so they'll, they'll call me for rough cut. Sawdust for horse barns, or saw up some custom logs. Rough log, rough lumber, 1930 mill doing it. Thankfully, we've, we've had really quality tasting meat, so it kind of sells itself. When we first started, it was really just to family, and then they tell people, and then before you know it, you know, you have a neighbor, or they tell another neighbor, and then we joined Pure Cat Skills, and of course that got the word out. And at 18 months, they're ready to go to the butcher. We've done a little experimenting before and after, but 18 months seems to be the magic number that we like the meat, our customers like the meat. We always have good hay for them, yeah. well water available for them. And stream water. Good pasture, we try to keep our pastures up we by rotate. rotating every four days, we put them in a new pasture. They seem to have a pretty healthy life that way and, and the meat comes out with just nice marbling, you know. I did find out about Pure Cat Skills and I thought for the advertising fee that they ask and the exposure, they're all over southern New York State, far and wide. It's very, very cost effective and they're nice people to work with and you get a nice little write up. So I just felt like that was really worth our time. I wouldn't say we're really retired. It's more about growing the garden and raising the animals and if there's a few logs to saw, good. Just be in, on time for dinner.